Hi, welcome to DIYing It with Mia. Um, I just want to do a short video on this. This is um, a 2006 Jeep Commander, and I was just trying to install an aftermarket radio that I could like plug my cell phone into and uh, be able to, you know, talk hands free, and then also uh, a backup camera, which everything works, but the issue I'm having is that it does not shut off. So, so there is kicking on. This is one issue I want to cover in this video, but when I pull this out, I'm going to show a few more um, issues that uh, happened, and we're going to cover all of that. But, okay, so it's on. And then I turn the engine off. I can turn this off. But that will never shut down. So if you're having this issue, um, you're going to want to watch my video. I'll show you how to, um, we're going to wire it to the power to the accessory port here because we've already tested that and it does power off when the ignition's off. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. This is just uh, another power outlet. But this one, when we test it, it is not functional. So that'll probably have to be replaced. So we're gonna wire to this one. But I also wanted to cover like, as far as the Jeep Commander goes, you have <clears throat> these bolts here. They have to unscrew all the way down. And it's a five millimeter. So I have my five millimeter tool here. It's like a hex. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then show you guys um, a few more things on the, the electrical wiring. Okay, so I've got all the screws out all the way down. So now all you have to do is just kind of work this loose. Let me zoom out so you can see. And just pop this. See how it's coming loose? It's just snapped in place, that's all it is. And there you go. Next, you're gonna remove screws. I just have two in here. Um, you're supposed to put four in though, but I mean it's pretty pretty solid with the two So I'm gonna remove these and then show you the wires Okay First off, this is the system That I have I got the the boss audio system because it has the Apple CarPlay and Android audio Which means I, you know you can talk through the Bluetooth, but if you plug it in, you can use the maps through your phone and you don't need, you know, like a, a GPS like built into it or whatever. You can use your phone like you do with all the new cars. And it also had the capability of connecting a um, backup camera. So, I mean, this was, I want to say, 200 and something dollars on Amazon. It wasn't that bad. Uh, in comparison to others and so far I like it but one thing we need to point out here okay first off you need to get this box here which is actually it comes with um, a harness kit that we got so that we could plug this new because the back didn't fit, so it connects the old style to the new, okay? But this box comes with it. This is for control hookups for the back of your steering wheel. Mine doesn't have it, so I didn't initially hook that up. But the radio will not work if you don't plug it in. So you still need to plug it in and include it, even if you're not hooking up your wires to the back of your, you know, steering wheel electrical stuff to make, you know, because sometimes you have the volume up and down and the seek and stuff behind your wheel. So when you're driving, you don't have to reach over. So you do have to include that with this radio. 
I don't know if it's for every make and model car, but for the Jeep Commander, which is basically the same as the Jeep Cherokee, it's only two inches longer, um, same frame and everything, uh, just include that. So that was one issue that we had to resolve. The other issue is when we would make a phone call, I could hear them because it came with, you know, this mic here. They should have been able to hear me. But when we did the test call, he couldn't hear me. So after some research, I found you have your, let me zoom in here, your front left positive and your rear left positive. So if you have this issue, no matter what make or model vehicle you have, what it is, is for some reason, the way these are wired, only certain speakers can play certain types of audio. So you, instead of matching white to white and green to green, you're going to swap them with the positive so that the, the rear left positive goes to the front left positive and the front left positive to the rear left positive. And that solved that issue. And my camera came unplugged here. This is for the camera plug-in. So when I go to put this all back together, um, I'll need to plug that back in, see? All right, so basically now the last issue is uh, accessory. It's either this one. Let's see here. That's the ground, the illumination. Yeah. The, the red wire. Okay. So, this is the wire I need to cut. And then I have more wire down here. And we're going to run it behind this and connect it to the back of that port so that it'll shut off when the vehicle is shut off and not drain my brand new battery. So I'm going to cut this and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so we cut it and let me show you the other end. I cut it on this side because that's the side I needed and that way this is still covered. Well, these are pretty cool. You put it the wire in, you crimp it down, and then you use either a heat gun or a lighter, and it does like a shrink shrink wrap to hold it in place. So now we need to open this up, which just pops out, and uh, let's go ahead and get our right out of the way for a moment. Okay. So you're just gonna take this and pull. Let me zoom out some. Okay. All right. All right. See how you see down in there? They gotta get all the way down in there. All right. So we're gonna connect the other end of this red wire all the way down in there to the back of the accessory port. Okay, so basically what I've done, so I didn't have to cut any wires, I used a uh, quick splice. So, all you do is you're going to attach, hook it onto the wire that's already in place, and then you put the new wire down in here. You don't even have to... Uh, cut it or anything you just stick it in there and then you fold it and clamp it in place and it pushes that metal down in and splices them and locks into place like this so that's what I did here all right so now here's the, the fun part the test okay all right, so here's the moment of truth. It's off right now. I'm gonna turn our accessories on. Yay, we have power. 
I'm gonna double check I didn't knock any wires loose and just check everything. Okay, I agree. All right, so let's hit the radio. Eight days. Oh. Okay. Check our camera. No signal detected. Okay, so I thought I plugged my camera back in, but I guess I knocked something else loose or something. Or maybe the vehicle has to be on. Because I have some other work I'm having done. Still no signal. Okay. Alright. It does turn off now. So now I need to figure out my camera issue that I've just now created. Okay. So <clears throat> it's still working when I put it in reverse. I think because it's not getting the constant power. Let's go back and park. I can't like mess with the settings on it, but I put it in reverse and I have my my lines and everything. So park and then my media player is working. My radio is working. Everything's still working. So, and then when I turn the key off, it goes off. So problem solved. Now we gotta put everything back together, starting with this. Just pop that back in place. These, by the way, are attached to the radio. This is for your Apple CarPlay and Android Audio. And this is an extra USB charging port which I've been running through here. I do still have this piece, but I want to get a uh, extension for this one before I put my, my vent back on. But anyway, so I just wanted to cover that. So I'm gonna get this all put back together and um, show you the end result. All right, so we've come across another issue. Had to pull everything back off. Um, here's the issue. Uh, the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay will not work. And the reason why is because of this little parking brake wire right here. I forgot to ground it, so we're gonna splice it into the black ground wire which is right here and then that will take care of that issue because otherwise you can go ahead and do it otherwise it will um think that you're driving and won't let you plug it in and it'll say it cannot work you must be in park basically in a nutshell just for the initial setup yeah so Taking care of this issue right now. Why don't you just cut that one? Splicing it together with another one of those easy splices. Just because it's the most simple way. There's a pair of pliers up here. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mind my husband, he's a little bit sassy. I don't say a word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try this again and see if this will fix our issue. Let's get our cord here and go ahead and use your phone. Well, tough. Mr. Sassy. All right, I agree. All right. See if we have the same problem. Yeah. 
you're in the right one. Yeah. There we go. Okay, now we're able to do our setup. setup. Granted, that set, that's what it said before, but it was saying that on the phone too. So. But you have to do your initial setup so it works. So now, t type in a stray address or... And we work now! Yay! Alright. So that is how you take care of that problem. So, we've covered multiple issues that you might possibly have. Number one, definitely hook up the rear steering wheel box module because otherwise, for whatever reason, it completes the connection. Otherwise, it will not work. Uh, number two, switch the green and red positive. Um, what? What? Nothing. I stupid, just cut this stupid, out. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Did you just ask me where my phone was while I'm recording on my phone? You know this is going in the video. Going upstairs. <laughs> no. I'm done. Okay. I've done my so, part. <laughs> no, I fixed it. So the rear steering wheel issue. Then with the speaker wires, you're going to do the green and white positive to bring the rear to the front and the front to the rear so that you can, or they can hear you. And then um, the issue with it not turning off and killing the battery, run a wire from the accessory down to your accessory port so it'll turn off when you turn it off. And then finally the light mint green wire, which is your parking brake, and of course they don't have any wires up here so you're just gonna ground it to your ground wire with a quick splice and there you have it now you have a full working aftermarket stereo okay so got the dash back on for the 20th time and it's off see no power on we fixed our Android Auto so it could do all the maps and all that fun stuff. So hopefully I've helped somebody not have to take their dash off 20 times. Stereo. Uh, oh, it's not on my phone. But. And then I can also talk hands-free, play music through with my own. Everything works. Yay! Now, the Mickey Mouse ears, that's because of the stock radio. And the people who own this vehicle before me had an aftermarket, so they are the ones that that cut that extra piece off there. Let's see. So I've looked and there are some aftermarket dashes, but I'm not looking to spend five hundred dollars for this one piece um that are made basically it takes out this and moves the doubled in stereo to, to where it's centered and all nicely framed off then there's um for about 50 bucks i can get this section basically the same thing it moves it to the middle it's all framed off nice and pretty that may be what i end up doing um but for now i'm just gonna have to rock the mickey mouse ears and go from there but at least i have my backup camera i can talk hands-free I can use my maps through it just like one of the you know newer cars can do so there it is